Welcome to a beautiful Finnish summer where someone has been patiently waiting for us. So, uh, hopefully today we're going to be starting with diesel under some uh, slightly more controlled circumstances than last time. Uh, because last time I obviously wasn't expecting this thing to actually fire up. Uh, but now that I know that it's uh, actually got a capacity to do so, uh, I've taken the time to rig up for a slightly bit of test. So we actually have some kind of exhaust pipe. This is the original stuff that was used in the original install uh, with a little flex thingy and I've just grabbed a random uh, freebie broken uh, tractor muffler and thrown it on there to cord it down just a tad. Uh, I've also actually rated some fuel now. We have a keg of diesel uh, and uh, above all we have a way to shut, the shut it off uh, which I actually know how to do. Uh, that goes to a plastic string just in case something's gone horribly wrong with the uh, generator uh, during winter as it's just been uh, sitting around. Uh, you don't know what moisture can, to can do to these things. It uh, can very quickly get very ugly. Uh, but yeah, I've also wired up some slightly better uh, starter cables. We have uh, just basic crimped 50 square mil wires going to the main uh, on off switch. Going to the same old batteries, they're fine, <laughs> having sat out all winter. Uh, and a grind there just on the starter. Uh, have the uh, electrical box there opened up. Uh, I've checked stuff over, I haven't found any horrible shorts to anything, so I don't expect this thing to do anything horrifying, but you never know what these old things, this thing's uh, uh, going on 50 years by now, and it's spent the entire winter outside in the cold and wet. Uh, but yeah, uh, oh yeah, quite important. I've also just hooked up a ground cable to uh, the chassis and I've made sure we have ground continuity uh, everywhere. It's just a six square mil, so it's a bit, bit of a weak side given that uh, this thing can put out a decent amount of current. What does it say? 36 amps. But, you know, in theory, yeah, uh, the uh, wire can take that, but the short circuit current of this thing is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, hopefully, that in, in case anything goes wrong, I'm going to see smoke coming off that cable and I'll have time to just yank the string before anything goes too horribly awry. But uh, given how well it ran last time, I don't really expect anything to uh, go poorly. Uh, so yeah, uh, the initial plan I think is going to be to just uh, have a fuel off and uh, try to crank it a bit, uh, give it a chance to build some oil pressure, see uh, that the starter works, see that it's not doing anything completely horrifying, uh, and uh, then maybe we'll try and fire it up. Okay, so we should really be ready to do some uh, cold cranking. So I've uh, secured the fuel off. Uh, so hopefully when I turn the power on and press the crank button it should just spin around and do nothing. That will give me a chance to uh, uh, see if anything's horribly wrong. And it does indeed not start. That's good. There's a tiny bit of fuel coming still, even though I'm holding the shut off, but it's not too bad. But the oil pressure is going up, we have four bars. Not bad at all. So I'm fairly sure we can actually turn this thing off now. So what I'm really scared of is uh, if the generator is going to be full of water and start doing something really funny because this thing can put out so much energy that it's absolutely terrifying. Oh, okay. Well, that's not going to work out. The exhaust is coming apart. Okay, one very second rate exhaust clamp later. Uh, we might be back in business, so let's uh, give her another go. Maybe a little start this time.
That was a much more controlled first start. Beautiful. The exhaust didn't fall off. Yay! I thought I heard a misfire there, so I just uh, had a yank the shutoff, shutoff string. I accidentally hit the camera shutoff as well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about my fueling situation here. There might have a bunch of air trapped in the system, and I don't want this thing to start jumping around and making a mess. This is not optimal. I think it's sucking fuel. We have a good uh, stable level in the looking glass there. But there could be some air uh, jumping around still. It's just run for a few seconds uh, since having these lines sort of circulated. And I'm not sure how to actually purge this thing other than uh, cracking the lines because uh, it only has like a manual lift pump which uh, draws fuel uh, into the uh, looking glass there. And that seems to be working just fine. If we unscrew that, we have fuel moving. But I want to be really careful since I'm just on my own. I don't want I don't want an accident, basically. running. That's the sign of success. Okay, we can't just get that far in a day without plugging something into it. So I've put up, put together the most horrifying test setup if possible. So this is our uh, main central where we have a, a three-phase breaker and well, this is a motor protection circuit and just a single 16-amp uh, uh, residential breaker, which goes to 
uh, we also have a potential equalization thing. This is where the neutral and ground from the generator go together uh, and we take our uh, neutral and ground onwards to our load. We don't have a GFCY but hey we get at least we get neutral and uh, uh, ground to our stuff and we also have ground over there so we are actually uh, grounded and hopefully as long as nothing's terribly wrong with the generator that is going to try to put a million amps uh, through this thing which would be exciting uh, this is going to be just uh, like a normal installation we only have one face wired because i don't have any good free face load but we have a couple of things going so we have a couple of vis visual light bulbs and a normal 2000 watt uh, heater and a voltmeter over there so nothing should be on when we start it up i don't want to upset anything so uh, i'm going to leave these on but i'm going to leave everything over here turned off so we have that's off and uh, that's off so the only thing hooked up is the voltmeter and uh, hopefully we should get just a uh, voltage over there right away and uh, there shouldn't really be any drama i'm not sure how well this is going to regulate with just a, a single phase load it might be a bit a bit sad about that we probably don't want to do it for too long but it should handle a couple of amps at least without uh, throwing over regulation to shit <laughs> As you can see, we have different ratings, so it's going to be all on at, uh, uh, it draws about 10, 10 amps. And there's heat coming out, generated does not care. <laughs> Let's uh, turn the lights on and see. <laughs> You cannot tell that I'm uh, turning the uh, fan on and off at all. Let's overload it. That's a decent amount of amps. So that's 10 amps, that's, that's like 15-ish. It just does not care. Not a care in the world. And the question is, uh, what uh, the rest of our faces are, since we have an, a very uneven load on this right now. So that's our test phase, 224. 225. And 225. Okay, that's with just the lights on. Let's add a bit more oomph. We'll add another 650 watts. We'll now have about four amps doing that. That seems a bit low. Well, no, not actually. And we have 225. 228. Yeah, this generator does not care. That should be almost 10 amps of load on one phase. Uh, 8 amps. And our loaded phase. 
unloaded phase 226, third phase 229. That's that's absolutely <laughs> that's excellent. <laughs> Let's go all the way with our DJ. Lights and 2000 watts uneven loading. So we're gonna have over 10 amps of load. Loaded phase 225. Unloaded phase 226. And third phase. 31. So it does, it does get a little bit uneven, but for a 10 amp uneven load, that's nothing. Oh, that's so beautiful. This thing has some oomph. This thing has a lot of oomph. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. Oh, well. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That transient response is chef's kiss. <laughs> Granted, you would expect that from an absolutely giant generator like this, but uh, it's old, it could be wonky, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with that. Uh, I think this thing is going to perform excellent. Okay, I can't stop myself. You have to do a little bit of trolling. Just a little bit of trolling. We're currently charging an EV from the diesel gen. That's charging. And powered through a million extension cords. <laughs> and terribleness from the diesel. <laughs> We've done it! We've charged an EV!